Hi guys and welcome to another Divi tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well today we're going to use this Divi Supreme Modules plugin to build this great vertical menu here. It's unbelievably simple and really useful. So let's get started. First thing I need to do is enable the Visual Builder. Once enabled, let's go down to where we want to work. There's that little menu, let's get rid of that and we'll start from scratch. So let's add a new module. Divi comes by standard as with all these light gray ones. The bluey purpley ones here are all the ones that come with the Divi Supremes modules. And there's about 40 of them there. If you want to take it for a test drive, you can do so from my affiliate link below this video. And today I'm just going to simply add a Supreme menu. Now let's grab the only menu that I actually have, which is the one that's up here at the moment, which is absolutely fine. We'll give it a title. And here you'd select the, the menu that you actually wanted. I've only got the one, so that's the only one that's showing up for me today. That's fine. Let's put in a background color. We'll make this a little bit different from the one I just did. We'll make it blue. That's fine. Don't need an admin enable. Let's go over to our design. And we'll go to layout. Now vertical is the only one we've got a choice for at the moment. That's perfect. That's absolutely what I want here. The title. Let's make a bit more of a gap between the title and the bottom of the menu. Say 50 pixels. Slide it or type it in right here. Default fonts fine. I want it maybe a bit wider, semi bold, bold, and we'll make it white. Title text size is fine. Maybe bring it up slightly. That's fine. Letter spacing is fine. Line height is fine. Don't want to put any text shadow on it. The actual menu itself. Let's make our menu link colors white. Active color make that purple perhaps visited color will leave as white space between them you can add more or less by just pulling that slider up or down there it's about right for me five pixels now you can have no dot beside it or it's, it's an unordered list or you can have a disk beside it if I take that background away you'll be able to see those but you won't be able to see the links there's the circles you can have dots dashes squares whatever you want that's what I was changing there but because we haven't given them a color you couldn't see them so let's put that back there and we were in our menu and so I don't want any at the moment none menu font you can change if you want to that mine's fine uh, I don't think I'll capitalize it. I'll leave it as it is. Text size, let's just take that up slightly. Great. Letter spacing is fine and line height is fine. Don't want any of that. Sub menu, do we want to change any of that? We can change the amount of space that it, it gets indented there. You can have them all in a line if you want to, so that they're not sub menu items. Or you can shift them across to where it looks good for you. Text color, if you wanted to make it a slightly different color, you could do. That's fine for me at the moment. Text size. Yeah, let's put a bit of box shadow on the bottom. And I want to shift these. I want to give this a bit of padding so it's got some breathing room. So let's go up to our space. Let's close up box shadow. We'll go to spacing. I'm going to give it 25 pixels all around. Just give it 25. Hit the chain. It'll do the opposite. And same with the left and right. That's better. That's sort of getting to where I want it at the moment. I think there's too much space there between the top. Let's check that down to say 20. Yeah, that's a, bit, a little bit more like it. And to all intents and purposes, we're done. So that was really quick and easy. Let's save that. Save our page changes. And exit our visual builder.
Yeah, let's go down and take a look. And there you have it, you've got a really simple vertical menu. It'll take you to any of the pages, you can put this anywhere on your site. Be a nice little addition to a footer as well. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. Once again, that's the Divi Supreme modules plugin. If you've enjoyed this, please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.